How I arrived here is, I would say, untraditional. I, um, my brother and I have an older brother. That we're the first in our family to go to college, which is very exciting. Um, and I, I grew up in Los Angeles. My parents are from Jamaica. They immigrated here um, in the 70s. And I, we grew up in LA, and I went to public school my whole life. And so we had a program in my high school where if you had, you know, a certain grade point average, were in a certain level of classes, and, you know, had a bunch of pieces of a puzzle that fit together, you had access to try out to become a peer college counselor. And so I did that. And, you know, you go at lunchtime and you listen to lectures about colleges, and then you take notes, and then you take an exam, and you do interviews with all these different teachers at school. So I made it to that, and, and um, my parents said, well, why are you going to be a counselor? You don't have time. You're in all these classes, and you play sports, and you play instruments. And I was like, because this is how I'm going to learn about college, because my family didn't know about college. And so that was when I realized I could go and do anything. There are ways to make these things happen. If it was private school, if it was a school across the country, I learned about international programs. But then I realized in doing all that, I found for me the best was uh, UC San Diego. And luckily for me, I got in. I was very excited about that. Um, and then I, when I got to college, I, I was like, okay, I'm a biology major. This is what I'm going to do. But then, you know, luckily, we are required to take general education requirement classes. And I took uh, a course in anthropology. I had never even heard of anthropology before. And, th and again, this is, this is another issue, I think. Why hadn't I heard of that? I took the highest of every class that was available, and I'd never heard of anthropology. I didn't know. So I took this course, and I said, oh, culture, people, yes. So what I did was uh, I took a few more classes in that, and I remember calling my dad at home. I said, Daddy, guess what? He said, what? I said, I'm going to double major. He says, what does that mean? I said, well, I'm going to have two majors. He said, OK, biology and what else? I said, well, I'm deciding. It's either going to be math, because I love math, and I'm going very far in math and calculus, or it's going to be anthropology. And my dad said, anthro who? And what are you going to do with that, Noelle? And I said, I'm not sure yet, Daddy, but I love it. So I did that. I, I got two majors. And then I graduated from college. And three weeks later, I started working at the NOAA Fisheries. I got to this place, this marine lab. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Everybody studies different aspects of the ocean. OK, I can do this for a couple years, and then I'm going to go on to school. Well, while I was working there, I was taking the regular GRE, the science, the biology GRE, doing different things, contacting professors at different schools for plants and insects, terrestrial, land-based work. And then I visited some schools. I got a verbal acceptance into a school in Maryland. And then it came time for me to send off the paperwork to commit to the program, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't put it in the mail. And I went to one of the senior scientists at my work at NOAA Fisheries, and I said, you know, I I don't know what's stopping me. And then he simply said, do you not want to go? And then like, I felt a weight come off my shoulders, and I said, I don't want to go. I love my job. And he said, then stay. Nobody says you have to go to graduate school. So I thought I wouldn't go to graduate school. I loved my job. I was a biological technician. I was going out to sea. I was doing one oceanographic research cruises. Very cool. And then. A few years later, I was a high-level technician. I loved that job. And I got to write a science proposal with my boss. And we worked with the American Chemistry Council on this proposal. It got funded. My boss and I did the research. And then we worked with another NOAA Fisheries person in the Alaska Center to write a paper, a scientific article that got published. And I was, I felt on top of the world. I, third author on a paper. I was like, this is amazing. And I said to my boss, I said, this is what I want to do. I want to do this more. Let's write another proposal. I have some ideas. And he said, oh, no, 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 no. I'm glad that you liked that process. That's really important. But the way that you go about doing this, you have to go to graduate school. You have to learn the right way. You don't, it's good to have questions and ideas. This is what keeps us moving forward. But and he was so right. I didn't understand it fully now that I'm in graduate school. You have to learn the how do you ask a scientific question. You have to know what is feasible. How do you design experiments? How do you, These are the things you have to learn in school. And so he said, I'm so glad. This is why I exposed you to this process. I wanted to see if this is what you wanted. And I'm glad that you did. 
now it's time for you to go to school. 